In working with women for the past 10 years or so, I find that there are three main reasons why relationships most women find themselves in end and end wrongly. Now, these are by no means the only reasons why relationships end. It is by no means an exhaustive explanation. There are exceptions all up and down the wazoo. I am not an expert. I am not a guru. I am just a dude that has determined to be a lifelong student, endeavoring to help women as best I can, and recognizing patterns as I see them. Here are the three reasons that I've noticed the most when it comes to women that find themselves in relationships that end and end wrongly and end in a really bad way. The first reason why most of the relationships some women find themselves entering into end wrongly is because they weren't right to start with. They weren't right to begin with. Meaning this, going into the relationship, they had a sense, a sneaking suspicion, a premonition of some kind, some way, some shape, some form. There was a scratching that was on the inside of them somewhere along the line that let them know that something wasn't quite right about this brother. They couldn't put their finger on it and they kept trying to ignore it. And then he would give like little clues to let her know that something wasn't quite 100% like he was saying it was 100%, but they ignore it. And then over a period of time, a couple weeks, couple months, even a couple years, they see the man evolving and becoming who they already knew he was before they even entered into the relationship to start with. They just weren't paying attention to their intuition because if they had have done so, they would have recognized and they would have re acknowledged the fact, I should say, not recognized, they would have acknowledged the fact that there was something off about him at the beginning, at the very inception that she was supposed to pay attention to that she did not pay attention to and it resulted in a great deal of heartache and heartbreak not just because of the actions that he did but because of the fact that she knew it was wrong before she even went all the way in with him to whatever degree that she did that's the first reason why most relationships that some women find themselves in in wrong is because it wasn't right to start with the second reason why most relationships most women in uh, that most women are in end wrong and don't end well is because they didn't communicate effectively when they were in the relationship. There's a whole lot of there are a whole lot of women who were in phenomenal relationships with phenomenal men, but the man was not a mind reader. There is no man on this planet that you know as good of a man as he is, as a phenomenal of a man as he is, as amazing as he may be, as amazing potential as he may have. None of us are mind readers. You're not even a mind reader, okay? And we know this, with, with we have a mental ascent about this concept. We all say we know that, but somewhere we expect our significant others and our partners to do that for us. We expect them to have this telepathic intuition where they know what we need, they know what we want, they know what we like, they know what we don't like, they know what we need from them, they know what our love languages are, and they're just supposed to get that just by being around us and just by observing us and getting clues and without us articulating and expressing what it is we really want. And that's one of the reasons why most relationships that some girls are in, in wrong they're not communicating. They're expecting him to know it all. And here's the deal. He doesn't know it all. And it's not his job to know it all. It is your job to communicate to him what your needs are, what your non-negotiables are, what your desires are, and what your boundaries are, what you like and what you don't like. And if the man doesn't know it, he's not going to be able to show up accordingly. Okay. Here's the third reason why relationships don't. Okay. So the first reason why most relationships women are in, some women are in, and wrong is because it wasn't right to start with. Second reason, they didn't communicate. Third reason is you that woman, I have found, has drawn to herself the kind of man that in the deep, hidden crevices of her soul that she believes she's supposed to have. That's deep. And I know that's super hard. Here's the reality. You are only drawing into your life the quality of man that you believe you are supposed to have. And here is the deal. Unless you make the uh, conscious, intentional, 
decision to do a lot of personal development work on yourself, on your mind, on your consciousness, on your mindset, you are going to draw to you the type of man that you saw following your mother or the women in your life. So if the women in your life were constantly in abusive relationships, dysfunctional relationships, relationships where the men in their lives were unfaithful and uncommitted and didn't show up and didn't step up to the plate, if you don't take the time to be intentional, to do the work on yourself required to ensure that you are not projecting what you saw other women doing around you onto your own life story. You're going to draw the exact kind of man into your life that the women and the, that your mother and that the women in your lives drew in to theirs. And that's one of the reasons why women are find themselves in relationships that don't end well. The relationships that they are in are reflecting the kind of man they believe they are supposed to have. And whether or not they agree with that consciously and with mental assent, mentally in, in their minds, most women, I believe, believe that they are entitled to better. They are entitled to a guy who loves them. They are entitled to a guy that will respect them, that will protect them, that will honor them, that will not be intimidated by their light. But here's the thing. If in your internal programming and in your subconscious mind and thinking, you are you are governing your life by what you saw the other women in your life do, that's what you're gonna repeat. Now you can say it over and over and over, like, I deserve a man that loves me, I deserve a man that stands up for me, I deserve a man that will never ever put his hand on me, but if your internal programming is that of all the women in your life that have gone before you, and you have not done the intentional work to ensure that you do not repeat in your life what you saw in their life, hate to tell you this, but the kind of man you saw your the women figures in your life fellowshipping with, and doing life with is the kind of man you're going to draw to yourself. Those are the three reasons why I have noticed that I have seen that the you know the relationships that women find themselves in end like in a really really bad way. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, share this video with a woman that you know could use the advice. If you disagree, I love that too. Let me know in, your, in the comments why you disagree. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the bell button to let you, to let so that you know that I have new videos coming up and enjoy the rest of your day.